Hello once again everyone and welcome to Cruisenik's Purgatory. I'm your host Cruisenik X. Alongside me, Arya Stormborn. Hello. Uh, we are two quests away from the level 70 quest line. Um, let's take a look at the facts. In the last episode, we discovered that Arya was part of a family related to an ancient Maki... A, an ancient Maki Archmagus who first uh, who first partook of the Void Scent blood and since then it has passed down from parent to offspring but there is hope if we destroy the Demon Queen Lilith we should be able to reverse the curse Yes, I know. I used the uh, Red Sox terminology there. I mean, this not completely over yet. Anyways, let's continue. Let's continue with the level 68 quest, Child of Lilith. Ah, oh, Chris, your fellow student has had the most astonishing dream. Why don't you tell him about it, Arya? It was so disturbingly vivid. I dreamed of the man who wrote the Nightkin. In a corner of the house in which he hid away from the world, he kept a coffin-like box. Black as night it was, its sides marked with jagged lines of purple. As he watched over it unblinking, an inquisitor broke through the door with a company of knights. Half the soldiers were ordered to haul the men away to the tribunal, while the other half seized the coffin. This coffin you describe is the very image of a mocky tool of containment. Tis as if you saw a vision of past events. It was, it was probably just a nightmare brought on by the tales of the, in those memoirs. Well, as things stand, your dream is the best lead the memoirs have given us. Let's pray, let's pay a visit to the tribunal in Ishgard. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, I say. All right, off to Ishgard. Poke. Because it's fun to poke you. Alright, let's get to the Supreme tr the Supreme Sacred Tribunal of in of Holonic Inquisitory Doctrine. But that's the name of it. Sour faced priest. <laughs> Chris, thank the gods! This officious bureaucrat refuses to allow me access to their records. Mayhap they will listen to you. Chris, did you say? What strange coincidence that you bear the same name as... Ah! It is you! In the flesh! My apologies for not recognizing you sooner. Whatever the hero of Ishgard requires, we shall not hesitate to provide. This was in regards to heretic... This was in regards to the heretic killer. The heretic killer who left those awful memoirs, yes? Your request shall be given the highest priority. Pray understand, however, that records of objects seized in the previous century are not immediately at hand. It may take some time to scour the archives. Just like that, eh? A moment ago, you were ready to cast me out into the snow. <laughs> Maybe you should take Arya on a tour of the city. I'll stay here with our new friend and help guide his search. I suppose we... I suppose we would just be in the way here. Could we go to the last vigil? I hear the view is spectacular. Right outside for Tall Manor, huh?
There she is. This is amazing! I was told you could look over the entire city from up here, and I couldn't wait to see it for myself. So you are fond of high places, then? If they come with a view such as this, I am. I would ask why you keep asking me that, but I'm afraid the answer would lead to even stranger questions. To be honest, though, I wanted to burn this first sight of Ishgard into my mind. To fill the empty spaces in my memory with wonderful vistas. When you first rescued me, I knew not who I was or where I belonged. As I've said before, I scarcely felt that I existed. But the well of my memories is no longer empty. Though it has been but a small fraction of my life, my journey with you has shaped me into what I am now. So you can understand why I am so eager to return to our training. Red magic has given me the power to fight against the fate that would have left me hollow. Chris, Arya, we've learned the resting place of Lilith's prison. As incredible as it may seem, the coffin from your dream matched the description of the heretic's box. Purple lines and all. The Inquisitors were apparently so unnerved by its fell energies that they cast the thing into a ravine. The place in question is known by the delightful name of Witch Drop. It is to be found in the Curthus Central Highlands. Swarming with void scent, or so I'm told. Shall we? Witch drop, eh? Right in the central frickin' highlands. Oh gods, Ari is putting sheep to sleep. Beep, beep, I'm a sheep, I say beep, beep, I'm a sheep. Beep, beep, I'm a sheep, I say beep, beep, I'm a sheep. Beep, beep, I'm a sheep. Hmm. Who says you were that bad of a shot? You made me come all the way down here and you're not even down here. You guys are dicks. Chasm is crawling with fiends, just as described. Are they drawn by Lilith's dark essence, I wonder? Let us descend into its depths and begin digging. Mayhap the very power which attracts the void scent will help guide our efforts. Oh, you will be able to follow us down there, won't you, Arya? I seem to recall you had a crippling fear of ghosts and spirits. B what? No, I'm fine! There are no skeletons or specters here, so I'll be fine. Perfectly fine. So fine is... So fine you felt the need to tell me three times? 
Well, considering your current troubles with spellcasting, you'd best stay close in any case. Yeah, she's fine. Totally fine. Absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. Super califrax <laughs> Super califragilistic <laughs> 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 You dig the snow, but find nothing. You dig in the snow, but find nothing. An ominous coffin lies buried beneath the snow. There it is. Only one bang my blood gift may break the seal. Slay this pretender! You're, you're a thrall to pain. More like a sucker for it. <laughs> yep, pain. Hey guys, you might want to come and see this. Under a shallow mound of snow, you say? Extraordinary. Only one bearing my blood gift. Could this mysterious voice belong to Lilith herself? Let me try opening the coffin. If the voice is telling the truth, then I'm the only one who can. Very well. Chris, lead us to your dig site. Something tells me this isn't going to end well. Especially not this close to 70. It looks just as it did in my dream. I'm going to open the lid. I can feel the waves of malice even through the wards. This is no lowly imp. Proceed with caution, Arya. Lilith may be in a weakened state, but she is still a queen amongst her kind. Let us not be caught unprepared. Gods above! <laughs> At last! 
I am free from that miserable prison. A thousand years of scheming cometh to fruition. Yield unto me thy vessel, child. Thou shalt be host to mine immortal glory. Host, you seek to possess Aurea's body? A masterpiece for centuries. For generations have I guided the dreams of my blood gifted, bringing them together and strengthening their line. When at last the Chosen One was born, I sent another to secure my precious vessel. He commanded his own puppets, never knowing he was mine. Lombard! Shh. Hear me, child, my darling creation. I am the reason for thine existence, for the entanglement of thy sires, for thy deliverance unto solitude. Do not listen, Oya. Her words are poison. Come, deny not thy destiny. Thy life was molded by my hand. This was always meant to happen? My parents, my uncle, all of it. Yep, not gonna end well. Sweet child. Oh yeah, no! Well, shit just hit the fan. God damn it! Horia moved as if in trance. Lilith must have some hold over her, those who bear her blood. It was Arya's dream that led us here, into a trap. If we are to believe that hissing serpent, this meeting was a thousand years in the making. But all is not lost. See how these... See how she did not immediately claim Arya's body for her own? From what I understand of su such things, in order to possess a mortal, in order to possess a mortal host, Lilith must, con must conduct a ritual of exacting, of exacting preparations. There is time yet to deduce the location to which she fled. Let us return to the pillars and consider the possibilities. Alright, where should I take the Ethernet? Last Vigil? Yep, Last Vigil. Lilith's words yet echo in my ears. Deny not thy destiny. Thy life was molded by my hand. Arya became a red mage to gain control over her fate. And I'll be damned if we abandon her to this one. But first things first. We must expend every effort towards finding the place where the Voidsen has taken our colleague. The ritual preparation... 
The ritual preparations will not take forever. And with that, we have completed yet another Red Mage quest. When next we go live, we will be completing the level... We will complete be completing the Stormblood storyline for Path of the Red Mage with the final chapter in the Red Mage storyline, the level 70 quest with Heart and Steel. But until then, that's going to be it for this episode of Cruisenix Purgatory. A special thank you to Arya Stormborn for joining us. And thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the show. As always, if you're watching this on Twitch or live with PlayStation and you like this show, click the follow button. Be sure to turn on notifications so you're informed of all of my live streams and videos the moment they air. And be sure to subscribe to me for exclusive access. If you're watching this on YouTube and you like this video, click the like button below and leave a comment. Subscribe to my channel by clicking here. Click here to watch more by me. Click here to watch the next episode. And click here to watch the Stormblood finale of Path of the Red Mage. Until next time, Cruzagex! Signing out.